hi guys it's me Habibi here in this video I will show you how to add a slider UI to control the speed of your aircraft in your airplane game in unity so here is our airplane we already have the left and right rotation and also left and right uh, slide left and right buttons and also up and down buttons but what we don't have is but what we don't have here is uh, something to control the speed of our, our airplane you see from the beginning the airplane is starting to move and fly away we need a slider UI so we can uh, start the airplane from uh, zero speed to top speed until it can fly here in this canvas I'm going to add a slider UI slider let me just place it here I set the anchor to the bottom left area and I place it here and let's just rotate it I prefer to rotate it this way let me set the rotation to 90 so it means we can slide it up and down here is our slider UI and let's go to scripting edit the TN airplane script if you did not watch my previous tutorial please uh, check out my previous tutorial how did I make this script and here in this video I just co continue coding in this script file so here I will add a public public slider variable and I name it speed slider or thrust slider I'm sorry is if I use the wrong term here what I know is just this okay and don't don't forget to use unity engine dot ui because we are using slider we are using ui element so at this line number four and then and then on the start here we add this line of code thrust slider dot on value uh, change dot add listener delegate value change check this way and then we copy this part and we create a method here we type public void value chain check and then here we set the thrust value of our uh, airplane this we have here we have thrust variable and let's set the thrust value here to zero for the initial uh, state thrust equals to zero 
and top speed to 20 okay and then copy this thrust variable here inside this value chain check you paste it here and then you assign a new value to the thrust thrust equals to uh, thrust slider dot value only this one it will return the value of the slider you see here this is our slider by default the value is zero if we slide it up until it reach the top uh, part of the slider the value will be one so here if the value whatever the value is we will multiply it with the top speed here is the top speed we copy this variable name and paste it here so we can dynamically change the thrust value by changing the slider okay let's go back to the script to the unity I mean here we got an error line number 25 let's check line number 25 we did not we did not add this symbol here so it it must be this way and I think it is solved now let's go back to unity editor the problem is solved and then we can test our game and don't forget to set the value here the thrust to zero and let's set the top speed to 10 or 15 and I click override apply all to apply the changes to this airplane prefab here okay let's click the play button now by default our airplane is not moving we should you can see the strange rotation that make it that makes it float like this we will fix that later so for now just focus on the, the slider and the speed let me add the oh yeah I forgot something we did not uh, refer the slider here so we need to find our slider where is the slider it is here we need to drag and drop it here to make it usable and then we can test it we can start moving by slide sliding it up if we uh, slide it all to the top the airplane will gain it its top speed and we can reduce the speed by changing the slider but you know there is more more thing we need to do here as you can see here if our speed is zero the airplane is just floating here it should not be like this but instead it should be uh, falling down to the ground because we did not do the things to make it fall to make it falling down so it just working this way so you can see we we can make it move to top speed and we can reduce the speed by using this slider and also the rotation 
by default it is always rotating upward even we are not moving even the speed is zero we will fix everything one by one for this video this is uh, all what I can share and I will continue next time on my next video to fix everything one by one from the uh, yeah you know what I mean okay that's all for this video and stay tuned for the next tutorial and I hope we can make it we can make a nice airplane game you can follow this tutorial and publish your game and maybe you can make some money for living alright thank you for watching see you next time bye bye <laughs>